This video will show you how to use an Excel file that's been saved in OneDrive in both Power BI Online and Power BI Desktop. We might decide to use an Excel sheet that's saved in OneDrive so you've got easier access to the data, perhaps several people need to update it. That's that's where that's going to be useful. You could of course use an Excel sheet that's saved onto your hard drive if you but if you have your your master uh, your master file, your master tracker, that's going to make things easier going forward because you can simply update where well, you've got the updated data. Uh, click refresh in Power BI and you should be able to create data for the next quarter with the same spreadsheet. And that's the benefit of, of that. Uh, full disclosure, I've only just worked out how to do this myself, so it might not be the smoothest video, but let's see how we get on. So the first thing you want to do, I'm going to show you Power BI Online first because it's a bit simpler. Power BI Desktop is not so straightforward for using a file saved in OneDrive. So we'll, we'll go through Power BI Online first. First click Get Data, and it brings up this, this page here and click files is what we're essentially looking for is an excel file click get and nice and simple here you have onedrive personal where you will have uploaded your file works just the same as google drive so i've uploaded this file here this vr report funding file give it a click uh, you can't double click you have to highlight it and then click connect it takes just a little while to import not too long hopefully yet, there we go. Uh, so now that's ready, we can click view data set and we've got a workspace here where we're ready to create some charts. So just to show you how that data can be refreshed, I'll just throw a few of these fields in here, uh, a quarter, just to create a very, a very sort of basic chart. What I'll do is see this column here is uh, exceptionally big uh, because that's that's basically due to a, a big deal that occurred in quarter two of 2017 uh, from a UK company called Improbable, which was a 443 million uh, euro deal. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll update that figure because that will be the most obvious thing for us to see that that it's changed. So I'll open up OneDrive. Here's your main menu with your files. Uh, here it is. This is the file I imported. And I will double click to open it. Sometimes it takes a little while. Oh, not today. There we go. So I will scroll over here to find. There we go. 443. Uh, 0.7 million. I'll just take off this first four to reduce that down to 43 million. So we'll definitely notice a difference when we refresh it. Now, as far as I know, there's nothing you can do here to to make sure it saves any faster. It works just like Google Docs; it just saves automatically. But sometimes it's not so fast to refresh. So there's a few ways so what you want to do is push this button here this refresh button and it may not see that's still not refreshed sometimes it takes a few attempts that's not going to do it sometimes you can actually click down on the data set and click refresh now see what that does no that's not done it so yeah, sometimes it's a little bit of a waiting game just to make sure that the data has been saved and it's pulling in the most up-to-date version. Let's give it another go. There we go. So that's very clearly been uh, updated, making that now the, the biggest number. So there we go. That proves that you can, you can use, instead of creating lots of different and exporting your, your, Excel from Google Drive, you could just use one Excel in a shared folder, update that, 
and you have a constantly a constantly up to date uh, data set that uh, you can keep using, and that's going to be useful. As I said, I think before that you can use you can update uh, quarter three very simply to well yeah to make the next uh, next quarterly report. So next thing I do is show you how to do that in Power BI Desktop, which is a little bit more involved. Um, let's come down here. Up the top here, uh, this is where we can get the data. And we're going to get data from when it wakes up. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We can get data from web. But we are going to need to well I think I'll do so if you go into the document which is probably finished by the time you're looking at it at the moment it's a work in progress um, we've got this this URL here right so I've just copied that All right that's basically what this is here and you've got these X's and A's so what I've done in order to get this fill in these blanks you have to go back to OneDrive right click the file that you need and click embed and then you get this iframe here so we'll copy that and paste that that's already done it's a bit earlier so that's what that's where you get these two this line of code here in this URL so we basically want to just take uh, this res ID number here uh, we're going to copy it all the way up to the ampersand and we're going to paste it there and we're going to do the same thing the auth key up to the ampersand and paste that there. Cool. So we can now copy this, come to Power BI Desktop, go back to where it said web, and should have this little text box come up. Copy, uh, paste that in. I've not copied that properly. Copy. I want to paste it for some reason. My computer's ready to retire for the day. Hang on, let's try it one more time. Copy. There we go. Paste. Okay. Let's see what we get. So we get the option of the uh, table, tabla one here, and sheet. So. Power BI needs um, your data converted into a table. I think these are essentially the same thing, so we'll just select table and load. And we should find that should come up here on the right. Yeah. And yeah, you might want to rename it. That's what I call it. Test and we can do the same thing we did before. Let's just let's just create a chart, very simple one. We'll just do the same one, just bring in the amount and the quarter. Um, and you'll see now so that was how we um, that was what we updated before. So let's just put it back to normal. So we'll go online. To do that, and we'll put that that four that we stole earlier. Put that back. So that's now four hundred and forty-three million again. And same thing goes. It takes a little while before you can update it. Um, we'll push it now. See if we're lucky. That's actually updating everything. You could just update the individual data sets. Ah, oh, that worked. There we go. 
So there we have it, that's how you can in Power BI Online and Power BI Desktop use an Excel sheet that's accessible in, on multiple computers by multiple people and you can use the same data set uh, across the two uh, platforms, online and desktop, rather than keep uh, exporting uh, Excel sheets and confusing yourself when different people are using different versions of the same document, you can try and limit that uh, issue and make it simpler for yourself. There we go.